Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Prototype. Uh, not a lot has changed in the map since last mission, so we might as well just head over to the safe house. And I really hope it's safe this time after taking care of all the patrols, the detectors, the UAVs. There's gotta be some... There, there better not be anything else. But the military has its own things to worry about because look at all of the conflict that's going on on the map. Which means that we might as well get some more upgrades in order to deal with them ourselves. These next three upgrades really don't do much in terms of the next mission, but it's good to get them at this point. First up is the long range throw, which is a wonderful addition to your throwing ability and makes things go farther. And by farther, I mean really, really far, especially when you combine it with charging the throw. The second one is the Hunter Dirt Nap, which is a very useful ability when dealing with hunters. Instead of grabbing them and having them shove off you, instead you can throw them over your head and get some extra hits in them. Very, very handy ability. And finally, I thought it was... Good a time as any in order to upgrade the ground spike, make it do more damage, more area of effect, making it bigger. So let's see how big it actually looks. Or at least try to. This is kind of the problem with roofs and using the ground spike. If you don't have the amount of distance, you may be going over the edge and it not showing up. Going over air doesn't really help either. Yeah, there we go. A lot bigger. And also makes a lot more chunks of people. Colorful. So let's see about how that throw works now. Well, that doesn't really work. Hey, you! You are my test subject. You can go ten blocks all the way over there. Whee! That is just fun. But I think it's enough st time for stalling. Let's get on to the next mission. I think I might be able to get you close to McMullen. The news has been showing an endless loop of Blackwatch scientific teams turning up at Hives. Those teams have to be working for McMullen, right? If they are, then one of them has got to know how to get to him. Get into one of those areas and draw McMullen in. McMullen is the key to all of this. McMullen is head of research. He knows what happened to me. I need to draw him out. Is it just me or does Alex just seem to keep talking to us? Keep going like, hey, McMullen is a really important person, you should remember who he is. Heh. <sighs> I hope McMullen's not in the middle of that mess. He better not be. We kind of need him alive, because if he's not alive, we don't get answers from him. Anyway, this is a wonderful zone of, of complete mess. And there should be a couple of hunters around here, so I can actually show off the hunter dirt now. There we go. Flip him over your head, and you can get some extra hits while he's on his back. Now, in all of this carnage, there's a guy that we have to go and consume. There he is. Hey, hi. Hey, what's up? Um, your, your gun is kind of in my face. Could you not do that? You know what? Let's go to our very special place, all the way up here. The outbreaks seem to be centered around these areas. The focus, as we've seen, seems to be these buildings. Secure all marked areas for possible insertion of Director McMullen for direct study. He won't touch down until all sniffers read nominal. Make sure none are destroyed. Engagement protocols? Anything it takes to clear the ground. When it's all clear, sound off. Oh, there we go. And I might as well have just destroyed the hive. 
this area gets a bit of an annoyance when you're trying to take down guys. So, it's kind of good when you're taking down these kind of things. Let's collect some yellow balls and get out of here because helicopters are really annoying. Now, according to that last guy that we just consumed, apparently that's not the place that he was going. So we have to find the correct hive that they're stationing for research purposes. Alpha zone is clear. Strike boss, bring your team into Citadel for regroup. Strike boss, RTB. McMullen will only land if these sensors tell him it's safe. So, here's where the meat of this mission is. Sabotaging detectors. This is a more subtle way than blowing them up to smithereens. For this mission, we are automatically given a special ability in order to figure out how to work these detectors, rewire them so they're actually not detecting us specifically. So, each is a button press, button combination, and it's always going to be random no matter what you do. There are four you have to do, and it's different every time you do it. If you get it wrong, it's an instant alert. It, well, if you get if you run out of time in order to sabotage it correctly, then you will be alerted automatically, and you'll have to do this all over again, which is no fun. That also means you have to actually do it stealth-wise. It's especially easier to do it. Hey, what's up? Now, he mentioned number three and number four. I think the, these detectors all have specific numbers, so if you do it in a different order, they will do different special um, voices and radio in different things, which is kind of interesting. Also, as you sabotage detectors, the combinations get harder and longer. Shush. And there we are. All of them are now sabotaged. Which technically means that it's safe for McMullen to land. So let's go do that, shall we? We haven't actually met him in person, so this will be our first contact. Site's clear, sir. What is your ETA? Okay, people, we're clean across the board. McMullen inbound. Damn infection getting in the way of everything. So yeah, the technically the mission's over because well we failed to actually meet McMullen, but now he looks like he's a bit curious of us. So of course I'm gonna take the defeat route, which is a bit of an annoyance here. So let's just go ahead and get rid of this hive and make things a little bit easier and a little bit shorter. take care of a majority of things, but there's still this helicopter. I don't know what it is with helicopters at this point, but it's, they're really annoying, especially when they run away for no particular reason other than just be just annoying.
Alright, let's get back to the Broken Hive. And that shall be all she wrote. So our first meeting with McMullen didn't really happen because the infection got in the way. But, well, maybe we'll be able to try again. So I'll see you next time, everyone, as we continue on and maybe figure out what is going on with the virus. See you next time, everyone. You know, with this military blockade, everything just has to go away and get boarded up. Like, this is my favorite magazine shop! Why would they do such a thing? Like, this street was my street! Like, the, my Japanese restaurant was here. I go here every single Thursday! And then, how am I supposed to get good coffee in this city anymore if the coffee shop is always closed? Military? This moment captured forever by Maxi Hypex Digital. K I S S I N G. First comes love, 